In this video, we'll learn about Figma variables, a feature that allows you to switch things like color themes, copy, and various spacing super easily. To get to the variables menu, just hit escape on your keyboard, make sure you're on the design tab, and then go to the variables menu in your right sidebar. In the top left, you'll see collections. Collections are simply collections of variables, and you can create them by hitting create collection. Then, inside of your collection, you just hit create variable to add variables. Our first collection will define our base variables, commonly referred to as primitives by design system wizards. This include things like base colors and base sizes. We can think about our primitives collection and its variables as the base layer that we link back to when adding new layers. For example, if we want different color themes, we would create a color theme collection. Here we could define values like background and button text, heading, body, primary, and secondary. For each of the values, we would create an alias, connecting them back to the primitives variables. We could also add a dark mode by hitting plus on new variable mode. Here we'd just invert the values and call it a day. However, unfortunately, modes are only available on the Figma Pro plan. I know, I've uh, cried myself to sleep a bunch of times already. We could also create a new collection for sizes. Here we add values like small, medium, large, and mega. And again, create aliases that refers back to our primitives variables. For languages, we didn't define them in our primitives collection, so here we wouldn't create any aliases. In this case, we'd have a column for the English version and then add Swedish as another mode. Note that we could create one single collection that combines all of these, but then we couldn't use them separately as we wish in our designs. Speaking of designs, now we're ready to use the variables in the wild. And for this example, we have a card layout. If we highlight our card and link one of our colors, for example, the background color, we can then go to layers in the right sidebar and change between dark and light mode. Now, as you can see, we should make sure that we link all colors before changing themes. So if we link everything, this is how easy it is to swap themes. If we don't like a color, we can just quickly change it in our primitives collection. To change our text from English to Swedish, we would just highlight the text and link it to our languages collection. With that, we can now swap it in the drop-down menu. Same for paddings, corner radius, and general spacing we highlight our frame and link the values to different variables in our spacing collection. And that's it. If you're interested in more Figma tutorials, check out this playlist. Until the next one, have a great life. We'll talk soon. Ciao.